In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good people, it is Saturday, the 28th day of August, in the year of our Lord and Savior, 2021. <clears throat> Two things are coming to an end. One, the month of August is coming to an end. Number two, the novena for married women, praying for their husbands, is coming to an end. Because today, we are on day 30. Tomorrow, Sunday, we'll be on day 31. And tomorrow, we will be requesting you to send to us your, the intentions, uh, the family of so-and-so, would want to be mentioned during the closure mass. Remember what we said, and I, I really would want to address myself to all the married women. As I thank you for taking uh, the journey, I want to remind you that uh, your duty to pray for your husbands has not come to an end. In the spirit of the novenas, we have said that every married woman has an eternal duty to do three things. To always pray for herself. To always pray for her family. That is, and her family here, I want to talk about herself and her husband. And number three, most importantly, to always intercede for your children. Because I have said in the past, as a mother, when you are not praying for your children, chances are nobody else is praying. And today I can reveal to you that if you are not praying for your marriage, chances are very few are, if there is. Our marriages have so many enemies. Our marriages have so, so many enemies. So many. We call them marriage vouchers. A vosha cannot pray for your marriage. And I said, it's good that I remind you gracious women. You don't pray for your husband because he is the best man in the world. No. First and foremost, as we said, you pray for your husband because you have a special duty and a responsibility. And again, by praying for your husband, you got the spiritual benefits. So what I'm saying is that uh, we are only coming to the end of 31 days of very special focus on our husbands. But the prayers continues. I know there are people who got their divorce documents during the novena. I know there are those that have really connected. I want to read a text message, one among the many that I have received. So somebody uh, told me, uh, Father, how have you been? Uh, I am praying for you and your family. The 31 days novena for married women have a great impact to my marriage. I am starting to fall in love again with my husband. Now, that is a, a lady who is in this novena who wrote to me. Hi, I want to read another one. Uh, uh, good afternoon, Father. I'm sure you are well. On the 16th, that, that was uh, this was you know, on the 16th day of the novena. On the 16th day of this novena, my husband got a letter of, uh, of offer. I have been praying for my husband because he was into depression because of uh, financial issues. So he got a letter of offer. He is getting a job with a very good package. I thank God. So another one, uh, good morning, Father. On the 20th, remember the 20th day we were doing something. Eh? On the 20th day of the novena, my husband has received a letter of promotion. And the other one is, eh? I want to read an, an, a, a negative one. Um, Good morning, Father. While the novena was going on, 
I got this. So, and uh, she has sent to me uh, the papers, the divorce papers. Uh, remember, when you are going through the divorce process, there is the, the papers that you receive. There is a decree called Decree Nisi. And then the final one, the final one is called Decree Absolute. So she has sent to me the decree, both Nisi and Absolute. So now telling me that uh, as you are praying, uh, my marriage has come to an end. So I told her that um, the, you have a lot to pray because both of you need a lot of God's presence to be able even to think about the life after. So there are so many good things that have happened in between the novena time. So many good things and equally so many bad things. Whatever has happened, one thing has not changed. In fact, two things. Two things have not changed. You, as a daughter of God, you remain the beloved daughter. Whether your husband has deserted you or he's there, he is loving you or he is hating you or you're married or you're divorced or the separation is going on, whatever that, that, that has happened, the reality that you are a daughter of God that has remained. Number two, God has not changed and he will never change. Gracious ladies, please keep praying for your marriages. Keep praying for your husband even when he is not a good man. From your definition, I said, yes, humanly speaking, there comes a time that you have a lot of pain that do not pray for him. But remember, then don't pray for him as a husband. Pray for him as a soul that needs redemption, please. That means there is no one time you stop praying for him. For those of you who got their breakthrough within the novena, keep thanking God together with us till the 31st day. That should be tomorrow, actually. And so we enter on Monday, yours will be a thanksgiving moment. For those of you who have gotten their letters of divorce and other separation, still it will be a moment of thanksgiving. There is always the reason why God allows some things to happen. Maybe, maybe, God realized that with that man in your life, you are likely to die young. Or maybe you may never be happy in your life. There is always the reason why things happen. Unfortunately, we are not able to see them when we are in pain. And that is why when we pray, we talk about the will, may the will of God happen. We prayed for many things. And you may remember that uh, a number of the many things we prayed for some were for yourself. Uh, and I remember, I think well, that was day 25. Yeah. Day 25 was very particular for me. And that was on Monday? Yeah, on Monday. The theme for Monday was that you as a married woman, you are to pray for yourself so that you can be the strength of your marriage. So it was not entirely for your husband. Because again, your husband alone cannot make it. So we said, it is important that even you, you become, you become uh, the strength of your marriage. Be the strength of your, of your husband. And as they say, that uh, behind every man is a very strong woman. That you pray that you become that woman. Pray for him. Always encourage him. Respecting him following him and submitting to him, putting him before your children, helping him and serving him, accepting him with all the shortcomings and all, desiring him all the time, forgiving him when he wrongs you. Just do your best to be the best that he can count for in his life. Just be that person. And there is one thing that we have been saying every day, and I love it this way. It is a declaration that we were saying every day. Uh, for example, today is the 28th. So we say today, the 28th day of August in the year of our Lord and Savior 2021, I take authority against anything that is a hindrance or a stumbling block in our marriage. I stand against pain, jealousy, bitterness, 
anger and forgiveness, hurt, lying tongue, hatred, and sorrow. I turn away from everything in my life and around me that gives Satan the power and legality to attack my marriage in the name of Jesus. I declare null and void anything and everything in the life of my husband and around him that gives Satan the power and legality to attack our marriage. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, I declare and decree that my children are a success and will excel in school and in life in Jesus' name. I decree and declare my husband is a success and will excel in life in Jesus' name. I decree and declare that I too will be a success and will excel in life in Jesus' name. Satan, you have no power over my marriage because you did not create it. It was created by God and it is blessed by him. Lord, I surrender my marriage to you now in the name of Jesus. Now, that declaration has been made every day by all the married women as they prayed for their husbands. Dear gracious married women, please keep this declaration. We'll have another one in the second document that is coming. The declaration that you can be making every day for your marriage. Again, remember, when you're not praying for your marriage, chances are nobody else is praying. Because maybe your husband is surrounded by the enemies. Enemies of his life, enemies of his marriage. Maybe you too, you have got some enemies. And so do not allow yourself to be subdued. That even when you cannot rise to say a prayer, always know that you have got the sole responsibility to intercede for your marriage. Please do. As your priest and servant, I will always pray for you. Always, always, always. I will always pray for you. That is why I have made myself available. You have my numbers, you have my email. You know how to get me. You know how to talk to me. So I want you to give me work to pray for you. And I will always do that. Please do. Tomorrow during Mass, remember we meet at, uh, in the morning at 8 a.m. East African time. We will give you more directions on how to prepare for the closure masses. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do have a productive Saturday. Thank you.